This video, I'm going to show you why you should stop chasing relationships and love and I'm going to show you a process that is so much more powerful that I think will change your life. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why you should stop trying to attract a relationship, trying to attract love into your life, what to do instead and how this is the game changer. Like chasing a relationship is the reason you aren't in a relationship. I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but when you are putting out the energy that you are chasing someone else, that you really, really want someone to be in a relationship with you, you are putting out a resistance and you think of it like in your energetic field, say this is you, and in the energetic field you're saying, I want this person over here. What happens is by saying I want, what you end up doing is you end up feeling this resistance that then they subconsciously feel and it keeps them from coming into your life. Even at different levels where even if you don't know this person yet, if you're putting out the resistance vibration of chasing love, really desiring some type of relationship, then what you are doing is you are putting out an energy that isn't serving you. So stop it. Stop it. That's the key. Stop putting out this energy and understand that anytime you say I really, really want something, it automatically vibrationally says I don't currently have it. And when we are focused on chasing someone or chasing love, it's us projecting our happiness outside of ourselves and it's having us run to try to get somewhere we currently aren't. So think about this just from an energetic standpoint as well. If you say, I really, really want you, I really, really would love having you around all the time, I really, really would just like you to come to dinner with me and I really, really would enjoy that, how does that feel? It feels desperate and it feels like something that repels you. You're like, oh, bro, I don't, not necessarily, just kind of want to do my thing, I don't want that pressure. But you see, that's what a lot of times we do, even not just with relationships. To be honest with you, just with things in general. Anytime you say, I really, really would like to have money, it's this really, really desperate energy. And we're putting that energy out, not aware that that's the reason we're not attracting what we want. There's a process that I talk about sometimes called reality transurfing that's about decreasing importance. You put something on a pedestal, you then are glorifying it, and you're saying that that's not natural for your self image. And think about this from also a point of view of a character in a movie. Let's use this metaphor. If you are running around trying to be the cameo in someone else's movie by chasing them, you are not the star of your own movie. You are a cameo in someone else's, they can feel that, and they want you just to let them do their lead role. You might actually be a little bit annoying to them. Because they're in their lead master role and here you are trucking along, trying to be the cameo, trying to be the supporting role, trying to be just somebody in their movie. And because that's the frame, because that's the energy that's put out, that's the energy they're responding to. They are responding to the energy you are putting out. You putting out the vibration that you are the cameo in everyone else's movie is going to make it so that they just conveniently put you where you, they think you need to be. And the reason being is because you are not at your core. If you were at your core, you'd be the star of your own movie. And you wouldn't be chasing someone else. If you're chasing, I remember I used to work with someone that used to observe this about one of our coworkers. It was always chasing different women. Really want to be, go out with them. Really want to do this. Really want them to be in a relationship with them. And she said something very interesting to me. She said, anytime you're chasing someone else, it means that someone else is running. That's the frame that's being implied. Someone else is running from you. Someone else is trying to get away, trying to stay in their cameo, trying to stay in their star role, and then here someone else comes along trying to be the cameo, trying to save the day, trying to, 
trying to catch. Think about that. It's like a cat and mouse game. But you see, so many people that I see are going through this where it's, I really, really would like to be in a relationship. I really, really would like this person to return my phone call. I really, really would like my ex to do this. That's the wrong frame. That frame will keep your ex far, far away, which sometimes may actually be a good thing. That frame will keep people from feeling connected to your energy. That frame will keep these things away from you. So stop it. That's the, that's the main message of this video. Stop it. Because chasing implies lack. Chasing implies resistance. Chasing implies you are not good enough already, therefore you need someone else in your life because you just want to be someone else's cameo role. And it sounds a little bit harsh because I'm trying to help you understand the energy dynamics of what you may be putting out into the world. I'm doing it from a loving way. Just a level of awareness way where you realize, hey, I'm chasing success. I'm chasing money. I'm chasing all these things. And in the moment that you chase it, you're saying, I'm not good enough. I need more. Here's the irony. If you were to give up the chase, you would let go of the resistance. If you were to, instead of focus on trying to do or to get something, you were to focus on being yourself, you would then develop gravity where people would want to be around you. You'd have a contagious type energy and you'd be the star of your own movie. And when you are the star of your own movie, guess what? You have a very attractive energy. You don't have to chase anything because you have gravity. Things start coming to you. But you must first off become aware of your own level of worthiness. You must become aware that you can have fun in life and you don't need to put someone else on a pedestal. When you put someone else on a pedestal, you are saying that you will finally be whole and complete when they do X, Y, Z because they're so amazing. But you completely miss it that you're amazing as well. You are amazing. But when you're chasing someone else, you're externalizing your own happiness. You're not coming at it from the frame that you are already whole and complete. They can vibrationally feel that. How many times have you heard of this happening? Listen to this. This is something that happens all the time. You have a guy and girl, a girl and girl, guy and guy, whoever, they break up. One really wants the other. Oh, so sad about this, so sad about this, so sad about this. And it's hard for them to get over. And the other one just wants nothing to do. It's like, dude, just do, do your thing or whatever it is. Then what happens is that person starts to let go of it and says, you know what? I'm going to go have fun with friends tonight. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take care of myself. They start to do what they want to do. They vibrationally kind of forget about the person they've been chasing their mind for so long. And then within a day, that person texts them back, wants to know how they're doing. Why is that? Because vibrationally, they can feel that that person isn't chasing them. And now they're like, what's going on here? Is this person now feeling worthy, whole and complete without me? And that sometimes makes them actually want them. It's a little bit twisted, but it is the way it works. I've seen it happen so many times. People that start to get into their own frame, start to do what they want to do, start to be the hero of their own movie. And then what happens is the other person can feel that all of a sudden they're interested. Because the energy dynamic has changed and they're not putting out that resistant energy anymore. I remember that happened when I was in high school with one of my first girlfriends. It was someone, we were together for like four or five months. It was nothing, nothing that serious, but it was one of my first girlfriends. It was after the whole, the whole thing with my ex-stepmom and my dad where then I had freedom and I could actually like be in a relationship or have friends. And there was one girl I was with for like four or five months. And what happened is after, like, after it was a relationship where I felt like I was, I was in a way chasing and trying to, trying to really be in her movie. Then this is what happened. I started to realize that was when I started to have freedom, could hang out with friends and stuff. I then started to realize that there were other girls at that school that liked my brother and I. They thought we were really cool. They wanted to hang out with us. So my brother and I start to hang out with all these cool kids. We start to go to parties. We start to have fun. 
And then I stopped, I, I didn't really focus on, I realized I was putting all my eggs in a basket and it was a basket that was broken. So then what happened is the energy dynamic shifted. She could energetically feel that I was not needy anymore. I didn't really care. I was over it. And the moment I'm over it is the moment that all of a sudden there's this interest again. And I remember that for like two, three weeks, she would call me trying to talk to me, but I was so in a different world because I had like a new group of friends that I was excited to hang around and I wasn't, I wasn't interested in it anymore. I could feel that like the energy shifted. So that's what happens when you shift the energy. You will be more attractive. People will want to be in a relationship with you. People will want to be around your energy usage in general. Even money, which doesn't even have an actual personality, will want to come to you. Every area of your life will transform when you stop chasing and reaffirming that you don't currently have that which you want to create in your life. Stop playing the cat and mouse game. Tom and Jerry was a great show, but it's over. Stop watching the reruns and stop chasing over and over and over again. And if you do, realize you're doing it. But the moment you shift your energy and you realize that you already have that which you are chasing is the moment you stop putting out that resistant energy and it's also the moment that you stop creating that lack mentality. The moment you stop being the cameo in everyone else's movie and you start getting to your core. Neediness is one of the most unattractive qualities that people have, and especially in relationships. Now, the thing is, is what is the alternative to this? The alternative is you understand this. When you get to your core, you are doing what you're passionate about. You are feeling empowered. You will be putting out your true energy, your true vibration, and then you will find someone that is equal to that version of you. Think about it like this. You always get a reflection in your life of that which you are. I noticed that in my past relationships, if I was working a nine to five job that I wasn't passionate about, I would normally find someone else that was not passionate about what they were doing. They were also working a nine to five job they weren't passionate about. It was always an equal reflection as to where I was. And guess what? Where I was, that wasn't really who I am. Me working a job I'm not passionate about, I'm not in my core frequency. Then what happened is instead, I changed my energy. I then started to focus on doing what I'm passionate about. That was me going full time on YouTube. I'm then in my core frequency, which then allows me to meet someone at a very deep level in a completely different type of relationship. You see, that is the key. You must first find yourself before someone can actually find you and before you can stop chasing everyone else or someone else, not everyone else, but you can stop chasing because you're worth it. You're worth you getting to your core and you deserve you feeling worthy, whole and complete. The irony, the paradox is that by doing so, you will then put off a more attractive energy and then these things will all come to you because you have shifted the energy dynamic. And I know there's probably been someone in your life that you've seen that energy example that I used where when you switch the energy, then someone, people just feel it off of you. I remember one girl that I used to work with, she said that she never got hit on by guys until she was in a relationship. When she was in a relationship, she would get hit on by guys like five, six times a week. And it, you know, you want to know why I think that was? When she got in a relationship, she started to feel worthy, whole and complete. And then what would happen is people would start to see that in her energy field. But before that, she was really, really hoping that someone may really, really like her or that she would chase someone and the energy dynamic was different. So instead of waiting for all these things to happen, realize that any emotion you want to feel already exists inside of you. You just may have a rule that says you can't currently feel that emotion. That if you just get the person, then you could feel the emotion. Then you could feel the gratification. In actuality, if you feel the emotion now by realizing it already exists within you, all of those things come to you easier. You feel worthy, whole, and complete. You're at your own gravity. You're the star of your own movie. Guess what? These things come to you. If you chase it, it means you don't have it. If you're trying to be the cameo in someone else's movie, it means that you're playing a role that isn't actually a leading role. You're the, you're the one that's disposable. The star of a movie is not disposable. Leonardo DiCaprio is not disposable 
in a Christopher Nolan film, like Inception or something. You can't take his role out, it wouldn't be the same movie. But someone on the sideline, some little, some little person that makes a little entrance and then leaves, probably don't even think about that. So change the energy by changing your focus, knowing you are 100% worthy, whole, and complete. The more you get to your core of that realization is the more your life will begin to change. Now, here's the thing as well. What you will see in the top of the description box is a meditation for completing the past and for feeling 100% worthy, whole, and complete. That meditation, if you listen to for 21 days, will change the dynamic. It will have it so that people erase that resistance that they feel towards you. You will start to feel 100% worthy, whole, and complete. And then these things will come to you. Relationship can come to you. Love can come to you because you are embodying it and you are the star of your own movie. That meditation will help you do it. And that's why I recommend you listen to it for 21 one days. Now, here's something as well. I have a lot more videos. I'm going to do a, a series on these kind of concepts. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you hit the notification bell. The way YouTube does it is you will only see the daily vids. If you hit the notification bell, hit that and I have a lot more cool videos coming out for you. I'm very excited. Other than that, let me know what you thought of today's video. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, peace, much love, and namaste.